the whole coffee thing completely happened on accident. Let me just tell y'all, it was like one of those nights where my husband decided, because <laughs> he's a selective snorer, that he was going to snore. But not just any snore, y'all. Not just any snore. It was the kind where, like, you know, he snuggled in somehow, you know, close to, like, my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, ladies and gents. Right by my head. And it wasn't just, like, a sweet little... It was a... <sighs> freaking snore at like two in the morning and I'm like no 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 so this my husband is in my ear and I'm like mm, mm mm no no you roll roll over roll out get out do something <laughs> mom needs sleep so then I go back to sleep and then what happens I have a stupid bad dream. I mean, it was like, it was bad. I mean, it was like one of those ones where it's like so bad that it like you woke up or you wake up and you're like just shook. You're just like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, all right. And you talk yourself back down like it, it was just a dream. Chill out. You got this. Well, then I look and it's like 5:25 in the morning. And I'm like, oh, I can't go back to sleep. So. Um, you know, what better to do than make some coffee, and I totally took out, like, two cups, which sounds minute, however, I have one of those ginormous, big coffee, obnoxious coffee cups, and I took out two of those, like, literally one full one before I was even able to get my kids to school, so I was like, woo, let's go guys, come on, it's gonna be a good old day, good old day, it's gonna be a good day, like, like, like that. Look, I'm so wound up that I can't even talk right. It's crazy. Then I came home, and before my husband could even get to work, I took out another one. And then finally, I, I had a little chat with myself. I'm like, Rada, oh, girl, you've got to simmer down. Simmer down. So, I now have a lot of water. I already took one bottle out. I want my second. Wow. This video has taken a turn, y'all. You, you tuned in for the Ipsy October glam bag, and what did you get? A therapy session with Hot Mess Mama. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing our October Ipsy glam bag. Can I get it into the picture? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I have so much coffee. It's just, like, never-ending. So, if you are interested to see what I received in my October Ipsy bag, stay tuned. But of course, as always, if you happen to enjoy my videos, look guys, I've had so much coffee, I'm a hot freaking mess more than normal. I mean, I'm going to be like squirreling and sparkling all over this video, I'm not even going to lie. So anyways, before we get into this, as always, y'all know what to do, right? Okay, no? Well, let me give you a friendly little reminder. If you like my videos, hit those like buttons as well as hit that subscribe button on either side and the bell right next to it so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And without further ado, let's get into our October Ipsy Glam Bag. Let the beat go. This beat be bumping, bumping. This beat go boom, boom. Alright, so as you guys can see, I only have foundation on just for you guys, because I did take a little peek. I'm not even going to lie. I took a little peek into my bag. So, I'm going to pull everything out. This is what my bag looks like for the month. Okay, so the first thing that I received was the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Now, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I am obsessed with the Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. So, the nice thing about this is there's no talc in this powder, so you, are, if you have mature skin, you're not going to have to worry about it like really accentuating your fine lines. If you have large pores, this is another thing you're not going to have to worry about. It helps to blur all of that. The second product that I received was Hey Honey Trick and Treat. It's a cream concealer. I have never heard of this before, so we are going to go ahead and test this out. It is in the color Natural Tone. It's, ooh, it's for normal to dry. So, you know, if you guys know me, I have very much normal to oily skin. But since it's going under my eyes, that's potentially a good thing. 
because as we know under the eyes if it gets too dry it's really gonna show your fine lines so I am just gonna dab a little bit under the eyes oh it's really nice and creamy and it very easy to, it's very easy to maneuver y'all this does seem to be a little bit sheer than what I'm typically used to but it does feel very lightweight okay so it is buildable that's nice um wouldn't necessarily say this is something that I would rush out and buy for me personally only because like I said I love me my full coverage concealer however on those light days where you know it's the I call it the no makeup makeup days this would actually work really well and as far as the color goes I like it it's definitely a sheer sheer coverage it's not going to be a heavy heavy coverage at all but you know it all depends on what you're looking for for me personally I love like I said I'm like a broken record I love my full coverage foundations and full coverage concealers so for me this is definitely going to be on my no makeup makeup days but it's not a horrible product so I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Bye Bye Pores by IT Cosmetics. And I, whoop, whoops, okay, so this isn't, I can't use this little doohickey. I'm just going to make a mess. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. The next product that I received which I love Urban Decay liners, the 24-7 liner. Okay, so I got it in black. And Perversion is what it's called. And I already know I'm going to love this because, oh, I mean, they, you barely tap it. Or tap it. You barely just put it on and it's just, oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But this is awesome for my waterline. Next, I received Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter by Mark Anthony. Oil treatment directions. Apply one to three drops depending. Okay. Because I'm like, is this for my hair or is this for my face? So this is for my hair. You apply one to three drops depending on the length and thickness of your hair to damp or dry hair and distribute evenly from roots to end. Do not rinse out. Style as usual. Oh. Okay. This is awesome because I just literally ran out of my my uh, Moroccan oil, so I'll definitely be using that. Let's see, and it looks like last but not least, I received DLS Dirty Little Secret. Looks like it's an eyeshadow. And I have not put on all my eyeshadows, so let's try it. Okay, can I open it? So it's in a little you're like oh there we go Ooh, that's really pretty it's called bronze perfect oh yes it's kind of light but it looks like I could probably build it up I will definitely be wearing this today let's go ahead and play so I put a little eye primer on I use Too Faced shadow insurance and I am just gonna set my primer with a little bit of my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. And I poke myself in the eye, good job. Okay, so I added some primer by Too Faced, the eyeshadow insurance. I set my lid with my, where did it go? I set my lid with a little bit of my Bye Bye Pores powder. And I did add a transition shade by my Natasha Denona palette. Now I'm gonna go in with this, I guess it's DLS, the bronze eyeshadow. It feels very creamy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So that, as you guys saw, was my finger swatch and then my brush swatch. So it looks like it's going to be very true to color. Okay, so I'm going to hop off here, finish the rest of my face, then I'll come back and give you the thought. My thought. Not the thoughts. My thoughts on my Ipsy bag. Okay, so I'm back from putting the rest of my face on and I will say um, I'm actually really happy with everything I received in my Ipsy bag for the month of October. Like I said in the beginning I was a little leery on this Hey Honey concealer but it turned out really 
really nice. I mean, so far it's not, you know, gotten to any of the creases or anything like that. Of course, setting it with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder, I think, helped out a lot. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Um, just because, like I said, I have normal to oily skin, and this is for normal to dry skin. But I think, I think it's going to work out really well. Um, I am wearing the DLS eyeshadow in the shade Bronze, and I think it's really pretty. Of course, I mixed it with some of my Natasha Denona Star Palette eyeshadows, but it applied really easily, as you all saw in um, the prior clips. And I'm really excited to try out my Marc Anthony Hydrating Coconut in Shea Butter Oil. So we'll see how that works out, and I will leave in the description box later on after I've checked it out and everything my thoughts on that. Oh, you know what I did forget to mention? I forgot to mention I did use the Urban Decay 24-7 liner and of course I love that as I said before. So anyways, I'm off my tangent. I think my coffee might be slowly wearing off. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time y'all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye! Baby, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. I don't want to be a fool for you. Just... Come on, hair. Apparently my hair is cracked out on coffee, too. <laughs> so I decided to, you know, not wear my PJs. Just joking. I am wearing my pajama pants. So you guys at least got me in a shirt. But it's one of my cozy shirts. So here is, oh, oh, my gosh. It came with like a little spongy thing. So you actually got a good size. And I do, I, I, okay. So it fell out, my little thing. Okay.